welcome to this week's quick coffee tip for ArchiCAD speed modeling. I'll just show you how to render a part of an image, which can be very useful when you're working on something or your client comes back, you gotta change something. You have to re-render the whole image, but I'll show you how you can just do a part. So we go into 3D and let's go to this view here. All right, cool. So I rendered this image up before, as you can see, I put it into Photoshop, but I like to show you the render quickly. So let's just start, I have very simple settings, so they're not very high, just for this tutorial. And I speed this up for you. Okay, as you can see, this took one minute and four seconds. So what I like to do is now, Go back to my 3D and I like to change, as example, those two pillars. And I like to change them to this gray color here. Which, maybe I should put what it is. It's render six. All right, so let's change those two to render six. And those two pillars, let's make them wood. Okay, now, instead of rendering the whole image again, you just take the marquee tool. There you go. And you open this window. And now you have the option down here of render marquee region or render marquee region and crop. So I just do this one for now. Okay, as you can see, this took 15 seconds. So now what you could do is you, if you're happy with it, you know, and you wanna add this on, and just save this out, and go to my Photoshop, and we open add-on. Okay, this is this one, and all you have to do is select the white um, bits, and we go. Let's select the inverse. All right, do you copy? And here you paste in place. There you go. Okay, maybe I should take this off. I tried this out before. All right, so that's our first render. That's the new one here. As, as you can see, sometimes it doesn't quite fit here because you didn't render the whole image, but that's obviously, you know, you do that in Photoshop anyway. You just, you know, wipe out the edges you know, to make sure it all fits. But and don't forget, I, I have to really, I really have low render settings, but that shouldn't happen that badly when you do in a high settings. Okay, I hope you like this tip and you'll be back next time. Bye for now.